fan page 101 on YouTube and this time we're doing the first review type thingy I don't know this is an opinion review and what it is is I share my opinion on the latest stuff and today we're not going to show anything about the latest stuff really more than just uh, later on type stuff I don't know what you want to call it uh, we're going to look at some Transformers Prime type stuff now, I just want to point out, first off, that I didn't actually expect this. I thought Transformers Prime was going to be just a TV series. I thought it wasn't going to have a toy. I would actually bet my life on it. But, they do have toys. So far, they have about, I think, five. They got RC, uh, Starscream, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Megatron... I'm not counting the uh, kids ones. I'm not going to review those. First off, we're going to take a look at the one that was first previewed, and that is RC. Now, I don't generally generally like RC. I, I don't like the Fembots at all. That's my opinion. Other people say different opinions, I guess. I don't know. I, I just do. I got Chromia. Not a big fan. She actually looks really impressive in detail. I mean, the number one thing I just want to include that this looks like a movie line toy, not from Transformers Prime. It, it, it doesn't, I don't know, I just don't get that feel. But it's a toy, so whatever. I do like it overall. It, it, it's a motorbike, which I like. I'm looking at the robot mode right now. And it's just very impressive. I, I love it. It, it, it. You know, and I just said, I don't like Fembots. This one takes the cake. I do like the blades that she has on the side of her arms, which she used in episode 5. Great. Not sure about any other Transformers episode type crap, but still. And her face actually resembles the show really well. So, uh you know, she's the top model out of all the fembots. The modern bike mode actually reminds me of Chromia more than RC. It actually looks like a bike taken out of the movie. Again, like I mentioned, this actually looks very nice. I've got a little bit of a headache, so... If I'm mumbling a little bit, you know. But, uh, yeah, and the weapons do peg on the side of her. I'm looking at the motor bike right now, and there does seem to be pegs on the side, so you can snap them on. It might be a mech tech port. I hope so, because that's pretty cool. Now we take a look at Starscream, which... I'm a big fan of Starscream. I thought he was very impressive in the show. And I just love the toy. It looks fully articulated, which is no problem. It does have the rockets. And it just looks completely like Starscream. I, for some reason, the face doesn't look 100% Starscream. But that is the best Starscream 
Starscream overall detail to shows. I mean, you know, we also got G1, which is the best toy. And then this comes in second place. It's got big shoulder plates, which is kind of weird. And the wings look kind of small. But, you know, this is a totally new, totally different Starscream than what we're used to. And the jet mode's actually nice. I like that the wings aren't actually backwards, but forwards. I never like the backwards wings. That just looks awkward to me. Especially when the back wings are actually the right way. But I like this as the correct position of wings. There is a little bit of robot, uh, yeah, robot kibble on the top of the jet, which I do not like. But I can live with it. Bumblebee actually looks not half bad. He does tend to look a little off. I'm looking at the robot mode right now. But, you know, it's still nice. I mean, this is supposed to resemble Transformers Prime. Not supposed to be your greatest Bumblebee toy ever. So, you know, I can live with that. I, I'm not sure if I'm explaining it correctly, but I like it. Attachable gun. I think I see a mech tech port, which is nice. It's on the other arm, so it's going to be on the other arm too. The alt mode looks very nice. I, I have a feeling, this is just me, I have a feeling that it's going to be short. Just saying. Megatron. Now, for a long time, we've had crappy-looking Megatrons. We had the movie line, crappy. Transformers 2, crappy. The third movie, it's alright. Um, animated, that sucked horribly. Don't know why I won it in the first place. This Megatron tops all those. Probably tops G1. Tops Masterpiece. This one is the Megatron we've always wanted. I hope it does go in the leader. You know, this is the uh, second greatest Megatron. Right after War for Cybertron. I like that one. I love that one. He's scary, bulky, whatever. But this one, it's just almighty. In the jet mode, you can see bits of the jet mode and you can tell what's what, but, you know, it, it, it just looks great to me. And there's not a lot of kibble underneath the legs, which is, or underneath the wings, unlike 2007. Optimus Prime, every time I look at him, I keep on thinking... They could have done better. A whole lot better. I mean, this is... We have the best Megatron and the worst Optimus. Honestly, this, this really is terrible. It's a piece of crap. I don't like it. It might transform well, but the grill. The grill is the main part. It doesn't have detail, and I don't like that. No one likes that. The head looks like crap. If you were to get this for anything, it'd be the gun. That would be it. Truck mode. It's a lot like the, the show. But then again, very crappy. And then the kids, I'm not going to really get into. You know, you get Jack, Miko, and Raph. Whatever. So, overall, I can't wait for some of these while others can be improved. Like, I know we've got Dark of the Moon coming out, but, you know, you can take some time doing toys. I mean, seriously, I, I know that not all the toys are going to be great. You know, we've had a lot of crappy ones, but you know what? At least look like you're trying.
the Optimus Prime, it's just horrible. Bumblebee, average. It, it can be improved, but, you know, I like it anyways. Starscream, impressive. Megatron, impressive. RC, still hate the Fembots, but she's the best out of all of them. And the kids, why? This is TFM page 101. Signing out. That's all for now. Bye.